Welcome to IDB, everybody. It is Andrew here. When the new MacBook Pro with the Touch Bar launched, the Touch Bar was one of the biggest features, but it seemed to be missing something. It didn't have any haptic feedback. It was simply just a touch screen. Well, with this simple app, you can actually add haptic, taptic, whatever you want to call it, haptic feedback to your touch bar. So whether you're touching a control for an app or just some general system functions, it'll actually give you feedback that you've touched a button. Now, this is just a small utility that you install. It's nothing obtrusive or that gets in the way. It doesn't even have an icon in your dock and you can optionally turn off the one in your menu bar and it just simply runs in the background. Once you install it, you do need to give it some special permissions inside of accessibility inside of system preferences. They walk you through it, but you just go to system preferences, security, privacy, accessibility, and enable the option for haptic touch bar. You do have to input your password because you are making changes to the privacy settings, but it is just to allow it to access the controls for the third party applications. There was an original version that launched that did not work with third party specific touch controls, and they did need that extra access to make that happen. You can go ahead and change the intensity from one to four, as well as disable the menu bar icon. Now, of course, you're not adding some actual hardware to your Mac here. So to make it work, it's actually hijacking the Taptic engine from your trackpad. Of course, the trackpad on the newest MacBooks is literally just a piece of glass with that little vibrating motor inside. And when you press down, it activates the motor and makes it feel like it's clicking. They take that same effect and apply it to the touch bar. Now, Granted, it's not as good as it is for the trackpad because that motor is specifically placed under the trackpad so it feels like you're actually clicking. But you still get a very similar effect, though not quite the same when using it with the actual touch bar itself. It really just has to do with the location and the fact that the glass is kind of meant to vibrate on the trackpad, whereas the touch bar itself is not meant to. That said, it is a really cool effect and something that I actually kind of enjoy. It's kind of neat being able to tap it and actually getting that feedback that you did in fact hit a button. It doesn't work perfectly. There are situations where it doesn't work. For instance, sliders. So like if I tap on volume and then I go to control the slider, it doesn't like, you know, tap more or less as I'm sliding the slider around, but it does work for any buttons that you may press, whether it's function keys, system keys, um, the escape key, anything related to an application will all work. So let us know what you think. You can pick this up down below in the description. Let us know what you think in the comments. Subscribe. And until next time, it is Andrew for IDB.